rolling. <laughs> rolling. That kind of ruined it. I almost thought you were Rolling on a river. Rolling on a river. <laughs> oh, jeez, Mike. Oh, boy. We're, hey, uh, we, you know, when we're on, on the road, we're inspired by stuff that feels like it's from the road. Doesn't that song feel like it's from the road? Where, you know, it's late at night. Lori and I are doing some late night video here. Just <laughs> kind of like rolling. Ah. Oh, we're working on our, on our audio CD. And we, we are. We we're take a little break. And, mixing some and audio CD and, and recounting what happened like last night at this, this morning. time. This morning. And this morning, we were with Lee Garrett. And Lee Garrett um, and Stevie Wonder are like one. I mean, he's sort of like... They grew, um, up, they grew up together. Yeah, he's kind of like Ray Charles in how he looks mm -hmm. as well. And he's a blind singer uh, from, from the from the era. And we, we really hit it off, Lori. You we hit, did. I, I don't know who hit it off more with them, you know, because I was talking old school smack. Yeah, you were talking old school smack. I was talking life. And I don't, you know, we I woke up about quarter after seven this morning. And after being out late last night, listening to Miriam's Well and and team, um, it was, I was so exhausted last night. I didn't get enough sleep. When yeah, and, up, and this is real yawn. This is not a, a this calculated yawn. This is not a fake yawn. yawn, no. And so I, I woke up, and Lee heard me moving around, so he came downstairs to pour coffee with me. Blind man coming down the stairs to go find the woman downstairs. And, well, uh, yes, thankfully yeah, I knew he was crazy. coming, so, you know, it was yeah. it was easy. And we had coffee together. We made coffee. I watched him make coffee, and we made coffee together and sat down for breakfast, and he had some some spicy stuff and and I had some sliced fruit and vegetables it was incredible and we got to talk for like two and a half hours this morning about just about life in general yeah, about, did, a, did, a little, did a little interview yeah. and um, we were talking about banging holes and turntables yes and he's, amps he's got and, two twice as many as you yeah so so and you said pull them out of the closet one person's uh, actually using his I was gonna call him on I said yeah, yeah. you got two show show me boy show me and Show he's me. got one in the closet that works well uh, plugged my, in. My, mine's right there. My, you don't have to hunt for mine, do you? Well, it's you do right it there. It's in he may have two, but I can show one in action a little sooner. There you go. So nonetheless, um, the, he's got the big reel-to-reels going on because that's right. the stuff that was the heavy-duty thing. So the day quad came out, quadraphonic you know, sound came out. Something that we talked about this morning, it, much less technical than quads, Last night, actually, he brought up that he, he used to cut stuff to CDs. He cut his own CDs. But now he cuts his own iPod, and he'll hold, like, 40,000 songs that are, like, half an hour each. You know, yeah. he's, he just, oh, he's like me, music. mixes stuff up. I, I hate when I'm listening to a CD and there's that pause between songs, like, okay, the song's over. And you, instead of just having that continuous Get used, get well, used to it. Of course, yeah. we mix it, we mix it down with bumpers when we do stuff. Me. Yeah, so he's gonna he's gonna mix some of our stuff. So we'll actually have some of that soulful stuff from. Oh, well, and such we have some some of the same interests though blues blue blues to bluegrass. Um, to, I mean, Billy Gino Holiday, Vanelli, he knows Gino, Gino Vanelli, Vanelli here in town, yeah. and Earl Clue, and these are folks that were right. you know early folks that he I loves followed. Loves Barbra Streisand. Well, so, uh, so we, we we stayed at his house. We couch surfed with him. He was our host. And he's not on couch surfing. <laughs> he's not on couch surfing, but our friend Miriam is, and and we met Miriam through yeah. couch surfing. They played at South by Southwest this year. They're an emerging band. Couch surfing. And um and they yeah. they toured on the way back. They drove back in a van and and stopped and played in Denver and surfed with us. And then they played the next night in Boulder. And they, they Miriam and I this, yeah. hit it off so much they came back that second night. It was incredible. Yeah. So um that, and the way that, I described that her to you, I had to bring you to Portland to, to meet her. Because this is just been Yeah, so we're so Lori and I are up in up in Seattle doing a two day gig up in uh, Langley, Washington, up uh, a little private retreat for, for LinkedIn stuff and yeah. we took the train down here. Yes, to Portland. Um, to Portland. And we just since great. we use Southwest Airlines we just kind of were able to, to make the ticket thing a little easier instead of coming around trip out of Seattle to come to you know, just do the one little lights and trips up there. to Seattle and then one way from Portland to Denver and an Amtrak so in that's, between. It was great. That's how we work. So so we're here. We're in the studio and I think we're probably 
we're probably I don't know a month and a half away or so from getting the getting the CD and getting yeah. it produced and mixed down and all. You know, we, we recorded it in 24-bit audio, which is really high-end stuff. Big big fancy microphones and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to you know cut the quality level down to fit it on the disc. So there's a trade out of time versus uh, quality Technology. and stuff that we kind of got to do. And, Frankly, it's the raw minutes. We're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to cut it. You're gonna have to get less Gabby on the disc. <laughs> Thanks. We're gonna cut her. So she's got too many minutes already. Yeah. If we have five minutes in a row, I'll know where you cut. Yeah, just sure. We'll, just, we'll just mix that whole section you did on experience or something. <laughs> no, maybe not that one. Uh, anyhow, it's uh, Mike and Lori Lincoln Rock Stars just kind of shooting the, shooting the time with you here uh, uh, from Portland and uh, sitting here in the studio, Lori. And what are we gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going to spend a lot of quality time with Miriam and Mark and get them, uh, get their Facebook a little bit more polished. They have a good presence on Facebook, presence but tomorrow. we'll we'll get that a little bit more polished and help her get sorted out the difference between her profile and her page and how to interact with fans. Yes, yeah. you know a lot That's of a, a lot of bands issue. have that issue where you know the band and the person and the profile and the page right. and the and the the updates versus mm -hmm. the messages and the lists and and all. So um, yeah, we'll look particularly at some of the plugins. And uh, for Facebook, for Facebook pages tomorrow. And then last month when she was staying with us in Denver, I got her started on LinkedIn. She's on LinkedIn. She's okay. on LinkedIn now, so we're gonna pilot, we're gonna I'll spend some time with her polishing her LinkedIn profile too. Okay. Now interesting that we're the LinkedIn rock stars and we're we're sp gonna spend time with her on her Facebook stuff. Because we speak that, 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 and train on LinkedIn and social media. It's yeah, part of the package. You have we to. We use this stuff ourselves. You have to be, so. If you're going to be a consultant um, or strategist for a company or, or anybody overall, you have to have a very good understanding of all the platforms, even though you specialize in one. And I think that that specialization in one is critical because there is so much involved in each one of these platforms. You can well, you can be at a at a at a very sharp, almost expert level at. at at least the big three, but you still want to focus your energies on one particular platform. And, and for, for that, for us, you know, that, that, that's LinkedIn. That's just, yeah. give, me, give me there. So, uh, yeah, late, late night here. Um, I still got to lay down some tracks. Yeah, you got to. Well, I, got key, I got keys now, so I can lay down. I got a couple of things I want to do you on the keyboard. You want to get your hands off the keyboard. I, so, um, <laughs> I, you know, I don't get a chance to do, do, some, of my, do, do some of my keyboard stuff. So. Right. Um, Anyway, it's Michael and Laurie for the Lincoln Rockstars having fun from Portland. Night.